Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you'd like to learn how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. So I'm going to pull one card for you and one card for your person's energy from the Rumi Oracle deck. Okay, so it's very interesting. We have a card here and this card comes out quite often. It says, if you want to win hearts, sow the seeds of love. Let's get one card for your person's energy. Let the beauty we love be what we do. There are hundreds of ways to kneel and kiss the ground. So I feel like your person has really sentimentalized love and romance, things of that sort. I feel like when they think of love, they think of a dream. They think of something that is beautiful. They know that when it comes to love, there are challenges, but they also know that those challenges can lead to very rewarding outcomes. I get that from this particular card. So very interesting, the combinations of energies that have come out. There's something about this card that gives me the impression that your person worships the idea of love and romance in a very sentimental sort of way. It's very, very beautiful. So let's see. Let's get one card for you, one card for your person's energy. There's something about this person witnessing the kindness of your spirit, the kindness of your soul, your loving ways, your homemaking ways, the personality that you bring to the table. You know, some of you are very considerate, very compassionate, very loving, very caring. This individual really looks at that and they see it as something that is to be admired. I feel like they have a deep fondness for your character. I'm getting that very heavily uh, from these energies. So for you, we have to the sea. It feels as if you've went off in another direction to contemplate, to reflect, to understand the situation on a deeper level. I feel like the cards are indicating that. Whereas your person's energy is milk and honey. They could see um, the idea of romance with you to be something that is very idyllic, something that is very beautiful in its essence. Let's get some tarot cards. Some of you may feel, you know, at times you are lost and alone in the world when it comes to love and the idea of it. It feels as if you're searching for something. That's why we have the card to the sea. I feel like when it comes to relationships, you've definitely you know given a lot and you always plant seeds when it comes to relationships you always give from your uh, very pure heart it feels like that and it takes you to a place that feels very comfortable as an individual and some of these seeds they sprout and they become magnificent things and i feel like something has sprouted in this connection with this individual because i feel like this individual is worshiping uh, some aspect of your personality there's something they can't uh, let go yeah there's a lot of suffering that you've been through and I don't feel like it's just connecting to this individual I feel like it's connecting to other connections that you've invested in and haven't really seen the fruits of your labor it feels like there's uh, those energies are coming across very very heavily now what is connecting the two of you Someone was deeply disappointed in love, deeply disappointed in what has transpired between both you and this individual concerned. I feel like a lot of you are in your headspace right now. I'm getting that impression where you are 
off in your own world, trying to figure things out, trying to understand things. I feel like you're contemplating everything. You've made sacrifices for this connection. You're not quite sure if you're going to get any type of deliverance, you know, um, in terms of reciprocity. So I feel like uh, this was a very intense connection, was a very powerful connection between two individuals and uh, someone was disappointed and it was hard to move away from that disappointment. It was hard to move away from the idea of a very precious connection, something that is very sacred, causing a sense of disappointment, causing a sense of sadness, you know. Your person feels as if you've become very icy cold, you've become very distant, you've sort of uh, moved away from them, and I feel like it's difficult for this individual to wrap their mind around it. I feel like they do reflect upon the situation, but in a way in which they see there's a heaviness connected to it. Right, connected to your energy as well. something that this person is feeling overwhelmed by. I feel like for some of you there's a complicated situation here playing out, not for all of you. There could be another person involved in the situation. Perhaps you are married or this individual is married. There could be some sort of complication that is playing a role in the situation. I feel like some of you are making plans and you're looking for a way out. You're looking for clarity. You're looking for um, something to identify in this situation, something that is real, because I feel like there's so much uh, pain and sadness here between both you and this individual concerned. So let's get some clarity. situation was making plans for the future in the past and I feel like they might have waited too long or there is something that caused frustration in this situation. I'm getting the impression of one person needing to make a decision and it was either invest into this relationship or not and I feel like someone felt as if their hands were tied like they couldn't help you or they couldn't help this connection go forward. It feels as if one person wanted to offer the notion of love as well as um, to be there for the other person. It feels like your person wanted to be there for you, but perhaps one person was too cold or distant. It could be your energy, it could be vice versa. You know, so I picked that up. I feel like one person felt as if they couldn't be there for the other person when they needed them. You might have inadvertently pushed this individual away without even being aware of it. For some of you, you might not have given this individual an opportunity to take care of you. I feel like you want it to be taken care of. I'm getting confirmation here that this individual felt overwhelmed or stressed out or felt as if, uh, you know, there was a lot of doubts here. There was a lot of hidden elements here and this individual couldn't um, nurture you. I feel like they wanted to be there for you really badly. And uh, maybe you pushed them away or you didn't give them an opportunity to love you in the way that you wanted. You might not even have been aware of the fact that you were doing that. Yeah. I feel like both you and this individual are like the perfect combination to each other's worlds. You know, there's this energy of the Emperor and the Empress coming out with the Four of Wands energy. And that shows to me that there's a very powerful connection here. It could be very deep soulmate connection. It could be something um, that this person cherishes. They see you as their equal. They see you as their partner for life. 
yet they couldn't be there for you when you needed them to be. So it's a very um, sad sort of love story, I feel. Yeah. I see that there might have been a complication here where this person either chose a different path, chose a more stable outlet, maybe they left with another individual, or they felt as if, you know, this connection was not something they could invest in. They might have chosen a different person. This might have caused you a lot of disappointment and sadness. You might have departed from the situation, looking for understanding and clarity, but at the same time, trying to fight the idea that this was indeed destiny, this was something that you were drawn to. I feel like the situation, you might have thought that they would choose you or they would, you know, make the sacrifices that are necessary in, for, in order for this connection to come together in the way that it should have. I feel like there's an energy of something collapsing, things changing, and one person trying to keep things as they are. You know, it feels as if the two of you were building up towards this beautiful love story, but it didn't come together in the way that you wanted or the way that they had wanted. I feel like there's a difficulty there between the two of you. There might have been a number of factors here. So let's see, what were the main issues? Someone felt as if they had no other choice but to walk away. Feels like things were going really well and there was a series of success, successes in the situation, but one person chose to leave. It's not really indicating why. Maybe things got too complicated. Things were too um, difficult to move them forward. I get that impression from these energies here. I'm also seeing, you know, a lot of indications of someone being left out in the cold or someone feeling as if they can't turn to the other individual when they needed them the most. So what I'm going to explore in the extended reading is your person's mind, heart and soul energy. I'm also going to be looking more closely at what are the factors here that have caused this situation and how can you undo some of the pain that has happened? What is the advice in terms of moving forward? I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.